what's going on guys josh polka here now on this channel we've been covering deep seek version 3 which recently came out and if you're not familiar with deep seek version 3 i would definitely suggest checking it out more the benchmarks for this open source tool are crazy and it has been giving the closed source models like claude sonnet 3.5 open ai's gpt 4.0 a run for their money and in 2025 i truly believe that one yes it's going to be the year of ai agents but two this is going to be a huge huge year for open source ai now i mentioned before we're going to do more videos on deep seek 3 we've done video with bolt.diy we did deep seek artifacts and in today's video i'm going to show you another way that you can code and use deep seek version 3. Now, a lot of you may also remember that we've covered many different tools that are similar to the one that I'm going to talk about in today's video. We covered Olama Engineer, we've covered Claude Engineer, we covered OpenAI's O1 Engineer, we've covered Omni Engineer, and a bunch of different engineers. And if you're not familiar with those projects, they're essentially made by this gentleman here, Dorian. And essentially any big model that's come out, like I mentioned, O1 Engineer, Olama Engineer, he has made a Claude Engineer, which was his first project, the biggest project around this. He has made an alternative for that. So he has done the same thing with Deep Seek Engineer. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage and use this open source project to code with Deep Seek. You're going to learn how you can use this powerful AI coding assistant in the next five minutes. Set it up real quick real easy let's dive right into it all right guys so all links covered in today's video will be linked down below now deep seek engineer is a powerful coding assistant application that integrates with deep seek api to to process user conversations and generate structured JSON responses. Through an intuitive command line interface, it can read local files, create new files, and apply diff edits to existing files in real time. Language is 100% Python. If we take a look at the project here, we can see that it is very uh, small. All right, there is literally just one main uh, .py file right here, a requirements file, and we'll, we'll dive into that in just a second. Um, here's the overview of deep seek engineer right here. I'm not going to read through this all a few key features is deep seek client configuration. Okay. So you can automatically configure API client to use deep seek with just the deep seek API key. We have data models. So leverages Pydantic for type safe handling of file operations, including file to create describes file to be created or updated file to edit assistant response. And then system prompt, so a comprehensive prompt, system prompt guides conversation, ensuring all replies strictly adhere to JSON output with optional file creations or edits. And then helper functions, so we got read local file, create local file, show diff table, apply diff edit. And then we have an add command, so the users can type add path to file to quickly read a file's content and insert it into the conversation as the system message this allows the assistant to reference the file's contents for further discussion code generation or diff proposals conversational flow so maintains a conversational history to track messages between users and assistant streams the assistant's replies via the deep seek api parsing them into json to preserve both the textual response and the instructions for file modifications and then interactive session. So run the script, for example, Python 3 main.py to start an interactive loop in your terminal. Enter your request for code generation. You can do the add path to add contents to the conversation. When the assistant suggests new or edited files, you can confirm changes directly in your local environment and then type exit or quick to end session. So there's really two main ways you can get going with this one is using pip and the other is using uv faster alternative so we're just going to go over the pip one right now but you could use either or um, it's going to say prepare a dot env file for your deep seek api key which is this right here and then your api key if you don't already have a deep seek api key go sign up for it i'll leave a link down below now on Windows, you could also just either go to your environment variables here and add an environment variable with the DeepSeek API key, or you could actually just run this command right here, set X right here. You can ask ChatGPT if you need help with these commands. On Linux, it's export right here, so you could export the API key to an environment variable. 
But if you don't know what that is, or if you're having trouble, simply just create a .env file within the project folder. So I'll show you where that is in just a second. So what you're gonna do is you're going to copy the URL of the repo here. We're going to open up our terminal. So what we're going to do is change directory to where you wanna clone the repo, and then you're gonna run git clone, and then the repo URL right here, as you can see, I already did that. Then we're going to change directory into deepseek-engineer. And then we are going to run pip install requirements. So pip install dash r requirements.txt. All right, this is the pip method. As you can see, it's going to install those requirements here. Once that's done, you can simply just run python main.py. Now, actually before that, you're gonna to wanna to open this project in VS Code or Cursor or whatnot. As you can see, I have it open now. So if you didn't already set an environment variable in your system, you can actually just go here, create a .env file right here, and then you would just go and add in your environment variable. Like so, we would see deep seek API key equals, and then the API key right here, you would go ahead and save this, which I'm not gonna do right now. Okay, so once you run python main.py, you will see that we got a greeting right here. So welcome to deep seek engineer with structured output and streaming. Now, before I get into actually using this tool, uh, I just wanna quickly give you a quick rundown. I'm not gonna go through all the code here, but you can see this code is literally just one file right here. So you could go through and actually read through here, Pydantic right here, um, you know, just kind of take a look at it. And you could, the cool thing is obviously this is open source. You literally have the code right here. So he actually has comments here too. So configure open AI client and load environment variables, define our schema using Pydantic for type safety right here. And system prompt is right here. So you are elite software engineer called deep seek engineer with decades of experience across all programming domains or capabilities, file operations. All right. So you can see the system prompt, the guidelines, you can see the helper functions here. So you could actually go ahead, um, change up the system prompt or change up different helper functions, really just change up anything. You can, it's actually really nice that he specifically commented everything and kept the code really nice and organized here so if you do want to change it you could actually either one do it yourself or you could use ai whether that's cursor or deep seek itself to help work on itself and improve uh, this for your specific use case so that's another really cool thing you know this are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. What you're seeing here it is similar, you know, since we're using it in the command line, it's similar to maybe something like Aider, but it is simply just like Aider, but it is simply just a lot more lightweight, customizable, and kind of easy to use depending on what your use case is. Okay, so you will see here that we can either just type in a prompt or we can add a file to conversation which would just be this command right here add and path to file we'll test that in, in just a second all right so i'm going to say build a beautiful crm application that tracks deals for businesses and we're going to click enter okay and boom it is writing the code so we can see deep seek engineer going to work right now all right so we can see that it created the crm.html the styles.css and the script.js all right, so now we're gonna open up the CRM and as you can see, we got deal tracker, add deal, view deals, search deals. You can type in a deal name right here, deal value, uh, deal stage, prospect, qualification, proposal, negotiation. You could add this deal to the pipeline. So this has to be a deal value, let's say 10,000 or $1,000. And boom, we have our first deal here. We, we could search deals right here. As you can see, nothing showing up for this, but if we go ahead and do test, search, Boom, we have it. So it is functioning. We can go ahead and delete things. Now I could go back here and say, make it look more advanced, add more cool features, and make it look modern. 
All right, so it said failed to parse JSON response from assistant. I'm going to make it a little bit more simple of a request. Okay, and boom, we can see the proposed edits, original, new. We can see the different files right here. We're going to apply these changes, click yes. And as you can see, now it's in dark mode. We have some uh, different uh, total deals up here, total value, deal stages. We got our dashboard, add deal, uh, view deals, search deals. Everything just looks a little bit better. Nothing too crazy. Of course, you could iterate and improve upon this. Now, if you want to add a certain file, let's say I wanted to add the CRM.HTML, I could also just do this, add CRM.HTML. And as you can see, I added file CRM.HTML to conversation. Now, all in all, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. This is a simple tool. This is not like a full blown, huge, advanced tool. This is one very simple Python file that you can configure yourself, customize it, use it for specific use cases, or just use it to get your feet wet with DeepSeek if you haven't already. Like I mentioned before, guys, definitely would recommend checking out DeepSeek. It is really powerful for being an open source model. And like I said, I'm extremely excited to see where open source is going in 2025. If you're new to the channel, guys, we upload videos all the time on marketing, sales, AI, automation, etc. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, I'll leave a link down below, stridecommunity.com. And then also too, guys, you're definitely going to want to join our Stride AI Academy. It's going to be packed with loads of free resources, templates, tools, courses, etc. It's extremely valuable. And for now, it is currently free. I don't know if it will be in the future. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help with your marketing, your sales, your systems, your CRM, your automations, or implementing AI, AI agents like AI call center, AI appointment center into your business, then definitely book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply to speak to myself and my team and we can see if it's a fit or not. Thank you guys so much for the recent 15k subscribers. Road to 20k on the way. I will see you guys in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.